to Lowe's and I bought myself a bracket thinking I was going to be able to make my uh, my dish light my ditch light brackets out of this uh, here uh, bracket for uh, wooden stuff uh, but well let me show you I cut them to size I actually made two out of one and uh, I put the holes on the bottom I drilled the holes for that that uh, 10 inch um, socket that's on the bottom I bent them I made a, a cardboard a template out of it and and I figured, okay, I can cut it now. I made some holes on it. That hole was already there, so I didn't make that hole. Maybe it would have been sturdier if it didn't have the hole, but it doesn't. And anyhow, so I made the hole for the bottom and all that, this and that. So it's on there pretty tight. I even made the other hole that goes on the side, like the real brackets, like the ones that are 35 bucks. I painted it, and <laughs> the paint came off because it wasn't... Uh, Bit liner, bit liner, or anything like that. So anyhow, the issue I have with it is that it doesn't stay sturdy on there. I mean, it's not gonna fall or anything. It's, it's super tight, but I guess the the gauge is not the gauge of the steel is not thick enough, so it's uh, not sturdy. And I didn't want to buy the bigger gauge because I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to bend it. So I figured. You know, let me just try this one out. If it doesn't work out, I just lost three bucks, so no big deal. So I guess I'm gonna have to go buy the the good ones from eBay or Amazon or whatever not for 35 bucks. So you'll see my next review on that. Goodbye, guys.